Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Full Alert, a Hong Kong action film from 1997 that was directed by Ringo Lam. Ma Kwan, played by Francis Ng, is an expert in bombs. After committing murder, he is immediately arrested by police officer Pao, played by Lao Ching Wan, who suspects that Ma is planning a vault heist that has yet to happen. So Mock's accomplices plan an assault against the police in an attempt to rescue him while Pao attempts to figure out the location of the vault and the timing of the upcoming heist. Now Full Alert has a pretty intriguing start since Francis Ng's character basically gets busted at the very beginning of the film. So we get some good interaction between him and Lao Ching Wan. They get some good dialogue and back and forths there. Both actors are really good here, and they have a good cat and mouse game working. And then we see early on that Ing kind of has a psychological advantage. As the film progresses, Lao becomes increasingly more unstable and angry at the situation. He becomes visually frustrated and hot-headed because he really wants to bring these bad guys to justice, which in turn creates conflict with his fellow officers and subordinates. The relationships get strained at times, and that element is convincingly executed in the film. And the interesting thing is that a similar problem exists in the bad guy camp. You know, some internal conflict germinates there as well. Uh, look out for the grave digging scene in particular. That has some, some good moments in it. So I, I like that element in this film. And when you think about it, though, I mean, full alert, it does not contribute anything that new to this subgenre of Hong Kong action. You know, on its surface, there's really nothing here that's new, so to speak, but there's a craftsmanship to the film that shines through some of the more generic elements, and it keeps you engaged with it. You could tell, and the big observation in this film is that Ringo Lam seemed to take more of a realistic approach to the film. He tries to infuse, like, a dramatic weight to everything. So, for example... There's a scene where a cop fires a single bullet in a public area, and afterward he needs to explain himself to his superiors because he caused an injury uh, by mistake. In like manner, when a character dies, any character really, there's a sense of consequences and emotional ramifications that are associated with each death, as well as the act of killing itself. In fact, that's one of the main themes of the film, coping with the guilt of killing someone. And this is true for both the good guy and the bad guy in this. Full Alert is not one of those action films where bullets are just sprayed everywhere and people are dying by the truck load. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that type of action film. It handles the act of killing more seriously, I think, than the, the typical action flick. And consequently, there are not that many like explosive big action set pieces in the film. On the contrary, there are a lot of confrontations and suspense sequences that are used instead. So, for example, like the cops will trace a phone call to a possible hideout location for the villains, but no actual shootout or chase will commence from that. It's more of like a suspense scene. Most of the action, uh, action beats follow this style. You know what I mean? The finale is good, but it's not really an action set piece, so to speak, because it relies on suspense and character moments. So in these moments, I think they work well. You know, it's kind of like a lower octane action film, but it works because of the overall quality of the film. It's also pretty realistic, at least when compared to most action movies. Now, there is one big action set piece in the film. It occurs near the middle section of the, of the film, and it's a lengthy car chase and shootout, in a city, which is very effective. You know what I mean? That That's the set piece of the film, and it really works. But even though I'm saying there's not a lot of, you know, action set pieces, the stuff that they use does work. I like the suspense stuff and how it, how it comes together. And it's actually paced really well as well, which is kind of surprising. You know what I mean? But it is. And if you decide to watch this movie, you should understand that there is a certain, you know, conventionality to it on its surface. You know, it has, like, low body count, lacking in shock value or excessive violence, but it's a good, solid Hong Kong action flick from the 90s. 
which in and of itself could justify a viewing if you're into this sort of thing. Just don't expect a lot of explosive action in it. You know what I mean? But I still think it qualifies as an action film. And after you see it, hopefully you agree with me on this. So I do recommend Full Alert. I think it's a good quality flick. If you're a fan of the actors or just the subgenre, check it out. It's currently available on physical media. I'm not sure of a, of a streaming site right now that has it. And as always, I will see you next time.